You sued doctor number one claiming that he was careless. Doctor number two should also have been sued, but instead you turn around and say, listen, I don't want to sue doctor number two. I think he did a great job. However, our expert says just the opposite. If you don't bring in doctor number two, your thinking is, hey, no problem. Doctor number one and his attorney will go ahead and sue doctor number two to bring him into this case. Is that going to happen? You know what's really going to happen? Come join me for a walk around the lake as I share with you exactly what's going to happen. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. Okay, so now this is a medical malpractice case. You believe that your doctor was careless and caused you significant harm and injury. Before starting the lawsuit, we went ahead and evaluated all of your medical records. It turns out that our medical expert determined that yes, doctor number one was careless and that his carelessness caused you harm and injury. Our expert also confirmed that doctor number two, the second doctor you went to, also contributed to your injuries and also was careless. He departed from the standard of care and that caused and contributed to your injuries as well. Now, when we come back to you and tell you what our expert has said, you said definitely, let's go ahead against doctor number one, but I do not want to sue doctor number two. Doctor number two was so kind, he was so loving, he was so wonderful. He came to visit me multiple times in the hospital. I do not want to sue doctor number two. Now, is there any problem with that? Actually, yes. Because once our medical expert has confirmed that both doctors, number one and number two, caused and contributed to your injuries, if we only sue doctor number one, you are going to have a major problem throughout the entire course of your lawsuit. Plus, if and when your case gets to trial, we are going to have a major problem at trial. So what's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. First of all, doctor number one is going to turn around and say, why did you sue me? I did nothing wrong. And even if I did something wrong, whatever I did did not cause or contribute to your injuries. In fact, it was somebody else. Now, he's not specifically going to point a finger at doctor number two, but he's simply going to say, listen, it wasn't me who caused your injuries. It was somebody else. And throughout the course of your lawsuit, you're thinking, okay, the doctor and his attorney are going to bring in, they're going to sue, bring in a third party, it's called a third party action, doctor number two into your lawsuit. And you keep thinking this over and over again, you think there's no big deal. It's not a problem. The reality is that it is a problem because rarely, if ever, will doctor number one go ahead and sue another colleague, doctor number two, to bring him into a pending medical malpractice lawsuit. It's just not done. In fact, it's unheard of. So you're thinking that doctor number one is going to sue doctor number two to bring him into this case is misplaced. It is incorrect. It is wrong. Now you are going to put your entire case at risk when you go to trial. So here's what happens. During the course of trial, we are now going to show, we have to show that we are slightly more likely right than wrong than what we are claiming is true. And we have to put on all of our evidence, we have to put on all of our testimony to establish that we are slightly more likely right than wrong. And we do that with medical experts, we do that with your medical records, we do that with your treating doctors. Now, our expert is going to come into court and he's going to talk about everything that doctor number one did incorrectly. The defense attorney, when he gets up to cross-examine our medical experts, are going to focus on the fact that doctor number two also contributed to your problems, also caused you harm and injury. And now during closing argument, the attorney for doctor number one is going to point to an open chair, an empty chair is what we call it, the empty chair defense. He's going to say, why is everybody blaming my client, doctor number one? Doctor number one did nothing to cause this patient's injuries. Instead, it was doctor number two. And where is doctor number two? He's not involved in this case. The injured patient and his attorney had an obligation to bring in whatever parties they felt were responsible for causing them harm and injury. But now doctor number two isn't here. So therefore, because doctor number two has not been brought into this case, don't blame doctor number one. It's not our fault that they didn't bring in doctor number two, the correct party, to bring in this lawsuit, to hold him accountable for this patient's injuries. And now they're going to point to that empty chair and because there's no attorney representing doctor number two there, doctor number two is not in this case, now there's no response, there's no reply. 
and instead you and your attorney will have to somehow come up with a theory as to why Dr. Two is not in the case. But that puts you and your case on the defensive and that's never a good position to be in because as the injured patient who's now bringing a lawsuit where you have the obligation to show that you are slightly more likely right than wrong, to now backtrack and be defensive and say, listen, the reason why we didn't bring in doctor number two is X, Y, and Z. First of all, you may not even be allowed or permitted by the court to give the jury an explanation about why doctor number two was not sued. In that instance, the jury will never really know the true reason why doctor number two was not in the case. So just because you have chosen for various reasons not to include doctor number two in your particular medical malpractice case is going to put your entire case at jeopardy because if the jury ultimately determines that it was doctor number two who caused and contributed to your injuries and not doctor number one, guess what? The jury's going to throw your case out. You'll get absolutely zero. Why? Because you didn't bring in the correct party to your lawsuit. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to open your eyes to help you understand how these types of cases work in New York. You know, I realize you're likely watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but haven't done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516 487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.